Hawaii is a tropical paradise in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. A popular vacation site, it is also often referred to as the extinction capital of the world. Due to its extreme isolation, only a handful of organisms reach the virgin volcanic shores of the islands. With limited arrivals, organisms that reached Hawaii had to diversify and fill all the niches that had not yet been filled. Giant ducks would fill the role of the primary grazing herbivores. A group of finches from Asia would take on many avian niches, from typical seed eaters and eating insects off foliage to more specialized roles like nectar feeding pollinators and the woodpecker niche of getting grubs from under the bark. This group, the Hawaiian honey creepers, had many strange members in the family with crazy beaks, putting Darwin's finches to shame. This isolated and strange world was turned upside down when humans arrived. Humans came with a variety of plants and mammals. Mammals changed everything in Hawaii. Besides a bat and the native monk seals, mammals had never stepped foot on Hawaii. Without mammalian herbivores, plants lost many defenses. Most plants have no thorns, and many have lost chemical defenses as well. There are mintless mints on Hawaii. Like the dodo, pigs and rats doomed the giant ducks. Some honey creepers disappeared as well in this first wave of extinction, as rats do eat passerine eggs. Then the Europeans arrived, bringing even more animals and plants. Two, though, were more devastating than the others, the mongoose and the mosquito. Hawaii's tropical climate and fertile soils were great to grow sugarcane, which was eaten by the rats brought by the Polynesians. To combat this, Europeans brought mongoose, which instead of eating the rats, ate the native Hawaiian goose eggs nearly driving the species to extinction, with a mere 30 alive in the 1950s. With breeding projects and mongoose trapping, the geese now exist in small numbers on the islands, with a large number being found on Kauai, founded from a released flock as a way to boost the populations, as the mongoose were fortunately never released on Kauai. According to legend, the person in charge of bringing the mammals to the island was bitten by one of the creatures and so tossed all of them into the sea. But it was the mosquito, which was accidentally brought here, that has proved even more devastating. They spread disease, like avian malaria, which Hawaiian hunting creepers and other native forest birds are highly susceptible to. The disease drove many species to extinction, and these diseases are still currently threatening many of the remaining species. A few populations of honey creepers have developed immunity to these diseases and are increasing. But so many of the strangest honey creepers are very susceptible, like the Akia Pualao which feeds on grubs under the bark of native trees, or the EEV, which feeds on the nectar of various native flowers. Some of the amazing creatures lost recently are the mammoth, which were like completely black EEV with even more curved bills, or the ohu, a fruit eater. Sadly, its extinction also has to do with a lava flow destroying the habitat of the largest population. Another is a different group of birds that are entirely gone, the ohu. Most closely related to the silky flycatchers like the Phanopipola, each of the major islands in Hawaii had its own unique species, but each island lost theirs with the last of the Kauai O'os singing in a remote part of the Alakai Swamp. Natural disasters may have contributed with two massive hurricanes hitting Kauai. So little remains of wild Hawaii. Ornamental plants invade even the most wild forests. Non-native birds from everywhere fill the trees and air. Cardinals and finches from North America, tanagers from South America, mine and doves from Asia, canaries from Africa, and skylarks from Europe. These non-natives easily outnumber the natives. Solutions exist to many of these problems, such as technology to be able to wipe out the mosquitoes that has just become possible. But it takes money to fix problems, and if it isn't seen as a priority, it is often forgotten. Invasives are still arriving every year. Fire ants, yellow jackets, not to speak of the microbes brought by all the tourists. Recently, a disease has been wiping out the native ohia trees, which make up much of the native forests and feed many of the native birds. Not much is known about it, but it is potentially devastating for the native forests. I hope this video helped shed some light on the plight of Hawaii's native birds. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.